So let's not waste your time. So what we're going to want to do in order to share play in Steam is go to Steam, obviously. Click on Settings. You're going to want to click on Family. And so you're going to hit Authorize Library Sharing on this computer. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the people or the accounts that are on that have logged into Steam previously. If none have logged into Steam recently, what you're going to want to do is have the person, whoever you're Steam sharing your library with or whoever is Steam sharing their library with you, they're going to want to log on to their Steam account on your computer. And so once that happens, you're going to check box whoever you want to Steam share your library with. Now the same thing goes for their computer. You're going to have to log on to their computer on your Steam account and checkbox the eligible accounts button once you're logged in. And you both have to do that with both of your accounts on Steam. So you're going to need to be logged on and then check the authorize button and check the share account button. And he's going to have to do that for both your computer and his computer or her computer. Alright, so that's basically how you share games on Steam. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work if you both want to play games at the same time from the same library. Before, I thought it was just a specific game, like, say, me and somebody want to play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We both can't play that at the same time, and that's what you would expect, but apparently you can't share the entire library. So if I want to play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot with a friend and it's on his library and he's playing something like Thief on his library, I can't play Kakarot. You can't play any game from the person's library at the same time. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video.